Hi internet, I am Udoka. Welcome to my channel where I talk about my personal life, mental health and weight loss and also whatever I want including tea, drama and commentary in general. Today I want to give a quick breakdown of what's happening with Nicki Minaj. Why is she all over the news? What did she say? What did she do? And I want to share it briefly. Let's see how brief this can be. And also note, I am a Nikki Stan. I am a Barb. Um, but if you want a breakdown from someone who is more neutral and also better at editing, I highly recommend Lovely T. She did a fantastic job and she is Nikki neutral, meaning she's she's not a hater. She's not a fan. She is like a regular person who enjoys the music from time to time. And if you don't like Nicki Minaj, if you a hater, here's a hater who also did a great job talking about what's going on. This is Camille's Corner. She is a Nicki hater. She hates Nicki Minaj, okay? So <laughs> so her reporting is going to be biased. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Nicki Minaj, how did this all start was that people noticed that Nicki Minaj was not at the Met Gala. If you don't know what the Met Gala is, it is some fashion celebrity show. Um, Anna Wintour like kind of chooses who gets to come. If you don't know who Anna Wintour is, you live under a rock. She is a fashion icon. Tickets for this um, Met Gala is like 30000 and it, everybody's always rating the dresses. That's like the big deal about it. We want to see the dresses. It happened Monday, September the 13th. And you've probably noticed people rating the outfits. I mean, check out these, check out these outfits, like gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, that's not from this year, but gorgeous, beautiful gowns. Um, people stirring up, you know, hot topics too. Here's AOC wearing a, an ironic dress tax, the rich, at an event full of only the rich, right? Um, it's, it's a good way to stir up some controversy with your outfit. Everyone's like, what is this, honey? So usually Nicki Minaj is there. And she was not there. And they asked her why. Um, she said she's going to talk about why later. And then she also said, I have an infant with no nannies during... <laughs> Who mad, not risking his health to be seen on yourself. Okay. But she did also post, I don't know if she was, it was on Instagram or somewhere. She said that, um, I'm going to talk about it later. So the queen decided, you know, she knew what she's going to say is controversial. She didn't want to steal shine away from the moment. So she said she was going to talk about it the next day. Um... So, <laughs> okay, hold on, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll. Okay, so she says this. They want you to get vaccinated for the Met. Sorry, I just got a work text like, how are you just texting me this right now? Oh, did this show up on my screen? I hope that did not show up. Okay. They want you to get vaccinated for the Met. If I get vaccinated. Okay. Sorry. Back to this. They want you to get vaccinated for the Met. If I get vaccinated, it won't be for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research I'm working on that now. In the meantime, my loves, be safe. Wear the mask with two strings that grips your head and face, not that loose one. So people were already upset with that tweet. Ooh. People were already upset with that tweet because we know what, what usually people mean when they say they're going to research um, a lot of the anti-vaxxers are people who claim that they did their research. I mean, you, you, you know, you know, you know what it means. And it usually means you did a Google search and you listened into some conspiracy theory. 
So people are already upset about that because they feel like, okay, you're going to have these people trust some random web online website for their information. Cause that's what people do when they research. Um, but also Nikki just kind of feels like I do, I have the right to research. I have the right to, to make myself feel comfortable with a decision. And she also added the mask thing. And <laughs> she's like, I'm taught. She's trying to show that she's not an anti-vaxxer and, and that she's not like a conspiracy theorist. That's why she included the mask thing in there. In my opinion, I, I understand why people would be upset with that, but I also feel like low key, there's nothing wrong with her saying that. I don't know what is up with this hair today. Okay. But then it gets worse. So <laughs> she, <laughs> it gets worse. Here comes the, the tweet that you all been hearing about. Um, she said, my cousin in Trinidad won't get the vax because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bullied. Okay, that was so dumb. <laughs> That, that, that was what everyone's like, is this a joke? Are you serious right now? And people got really upset. Now, if this was any other thing, if this was about any other situation, this would just be a stupid, funny, laugh it off. But because it's about the panorama, people really got hot. Like the entire media, like everybody who is in the news media has something to say about this. Um, all you got to do is do a search Nicki Minaj vaccine. It pulls up everybody. Uh, this Megan McCain, she is so annoying. Megan McCain. She's talking. She was mad about it. Um, Megan McCain just over exaggerates everything. She's she was tweeting about when I was a little kid, I didn't have a rapper screaming at me for not being anti vax. And now what I gotta say is all the people who are really mad, like I like people like Dr. Fauci. He somebody asked him and he responded. Like a a calm, measured response, because this is not She's not telling people to be, oh, where did it go? She's not telling people to become anti-vax. She's not telling people to not get the vax. She is adding to hesitancy. I would agree with that. But how you react to vaccine hesitancy is simply education. The People are reacting to her like she's an anti-vaxxer with vitriol, but she's hesitant when people are hesitant, all you got to do is give them good information, explain to them what's going on, explain to them why the anti-vaxxers feel how they feel, what the anti-vaxxers are doing instead, what, <laughs> how little success they're having and what, and what's going on over here on what we're trying to promote and why you just give them information and they're going to be good. But the way everybody was attacking her really got Nicki Minaj hot. So you'll see like all of these, all of these are clapbacks. She's clapping back. Um, let's see who else shows up here. Uh, this woman, she really was upset with Joy Reid because Nicki Minaj feels like, oh, I didn't mean to click it. Nicki Minaj feels like, and why? People like Nicki Minaj, I have to say this. Why is You have a platform, sister, Excuse that is 22 you. million followers. Rude. Okay, I have 2 million followers. Anyway, you can you hear it. You have 22 million followers on Twitter. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives, my God, sister, you could do better than that. You got. Okay, so you heard that. So everyone is really hot and upset with her. Um, Don Lemon 
was talking about, you know, if you by now, if you don't have the, the vaccine, then you deserve to be left behind. He just, some of these people are really hot and Nicki Minaj just felt like y'all are uncle Tom and y'all are, y'all are uncle Tom and, 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 and what I'm mad about is how Tucker Carlson, where is he at? Tucker Carlson was just enjoying this. He's just loving this. Let me tell you, these uh, conservative Republican talking heads, they love when a black woman shares a view with them and they get, and they get to see black women talking about Tom, uh, uncle Tom's and stuff. They love it. They love it. Tom, Tom, what's his face? Carlson, whatever his name is, Lord child. He and Candace Owens got on. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you what they were saying are stupid. They like to come around every four years for the votes, but at the end of the day, they think Nicki Minaj and all rappers are very stupid. And Nicki Minaj right now is proving them otherwise. She's not afraid. <laughs> no, she's definitely not afraid. She's a savage, actually. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter. It kind of made me want to get on Twitter. It was just so good. So, I mean, you could actually, and I'm not, you know, it's not even about whether the vaccine works or it's good for you or her cousin's friend's testicles. It's about whether you have dominion over your own body, whether you're a free person, whether you're a citizen and a human being. Listen, I can't with them because they are part of the reason why there's so many anti-vaxxers. Before they came to their senses or I don't know what happened that made all of these conservative talking heads start talking about, oh, you should get the vaccine. They were so anti-vax, it's ridiculous. And now they're trying to say, oh, no, no, no. Actually, we just mean that you should have, you know, the rights to choose. Yeah, freaking rights. Get out of here. Anyway, um, th these two annoy me. But Nicki Minaj was there for the love. Um, and Nicki Minaj went on live. She went on live. She talked about how she's so upset with the shucking and jiving. She, she can't believe the vitriol. She feels like... There has to be an agenda because all she said was, um, I, I want to feel comfortable with my decision. I don't want to be bullied into this decision. And somewhere in these tweets, she mentioned that she will probably get the vaccine. She, because she's about to travel somewhere and she's probably going to get it anyway. Um, she never said that she didn't get the vaccine because of her cousin's friend. Um, <laughs> I think, I think, I don't know why she said that, Johnny Child, but people just were so mad because they feel like she was being irresponsible with her platform that she's adding to the hesitancy. Um, I would understand, I don't know. I, I understand why they're mad. I don't understand why they're this mad. Because if she was anti-vax, I would get it. I would be like, throw the book at her. But she's not even anti, anti-vax. I don't think she deserves the level of hate that she got. But we got to admit, it's a very funny story. So Jimmy Kimmel was making jokes. Uh, she enjoyed that one. She enjoys the jokes. You know, the Today Show made jo jokes. What's that? Trevor, Trevor, that Trevor kid, he made jokes. All of, all of them making jokes. Everybody in the media, literally all of them talking about this. And then she got a call from the White House. She went alive. Um, she says she's going to the White House. And then people are like, oh, my gosh, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. And she got mad about that, too. She's like, why the hell would I lie about going to the White House? Charlamagne the God um, actually, you know, you know, agrees. He's defending her saying exactly what I'm saying. She's not even anti-vax. She wants to be comfortable. She really didn't go because she does not even want to risk her son uh, catching it from people. She doesn't, she's trying to isolate herself. I mean, Nicki Minaj seems like a regular person when it comes to this vax thing, this C-19 thing. She's going about it the way many reasonable people have been going about it. So the White House did come out with a statement. And one of our doctors, others we offered a official told Billboard of Minaj's claim she was invited, saying, 
As we have with others, we offered a call with Nicki Minaj and one of our doctors to answer questions she has about the safety and effectiveness of the vaccine. When 80% of the artists that y'all following right now feel like I feel about the vaccine and are too afraid to speak on it. And guess what they're doing right now? If they assassinate me and assassinate my character and make me look crazy or stupid, guess what? No one else will ever ask questions again. Nikki also vented that she was unhappy about being called out and bullied for the tweets in which she shared the alleged tale of how her Girl, cousin's Girl, I'm sorry. You're going to get bullied for that tweet. <laughs> But so the White House is clarifying that it's going to be a phone call, what have you. Rumor is that they're they mad that Nikki went public talking about she's going to the White House, that they're mad about it. I'm just like, listen, if someone's supposed to be low key, then you need to clarify that it's low key. OK, some of us, some of us like to kiss and tell. So if it's not low key, if it ain't known, then just be prepared to hear it through the grapevine. That's just, that's just how I see it. So that's where things stand as of now. Um, my personal thoughts on it, as I've been saying, I don't think she did anything wrong. And I think it is kind of terrifying the amount of vitriol she got for sharing that she has hesitancy. I think the White House is trying to go about it the right way where They'll take a celebrity who who feels hesitant and educate them and it and um and that person can become a role model for people who look up to them or relate to what this person is saying. I definitely don't think it makes sense to be attacking people who are hesitant. I don't understand. Listen, I don't have a loved one who passed from the sea or anything like that. So maybe that's why I feel more detached. But like the the number of people in the news that I'm hearing say things like you deserve to be left behind. There are governors of states being like, it's all the unvaxxed people's fault. It's like, it is really crazy. It is really crazy. We have 75% of the US population who have take gotten at least one shot, right? So um that is a lot of people, that's a lot of people. Let's make sure that people who got one shot get their second one. Let's make sure that we're, that we're reading the research about, do we need multiple shots? Cause that's, that's what the research is trying to figure out right now. Let's just focus on making sure people are well-educated because the other 25%, yeah, there's anti-vaxxers that there's nothing you do that will convince them. And there's people who are immunocompromised who they just should not get the, get the jab. But there are people like Nicki Minaj who are healthy and will probably do it. They just need more information. I think the White House is doing the right thing and a great thing. All right. So um, that's my quick rundown of what's happening with Nicki Minaj. Oh, one more thing. She supposedly is in, in Twitter jail. Twitter is claiming that they didn't put her in Twitter jail, meaning she can't post anymore. And if you notice, she hasn't posted since, since the 15th or the 16th. She says she's in Twitter jail. So this is really... I mean, when Tucker Carlson is excited like that, I rarely see Tucker Carlson be excited like that. He got a little too excited, okay? And he called his um, little token mammy, Candace Owens, he called her uh, to, to speak on it. And it's, it's not every day that Candace Owens has something nice to say about a female black rapper. Uh-uh, not at all. I mean, it... Just the other day, Candace Owens is trying to throw shade at Nicki Minaj. It's it, it, when you see people like that be excited about what you said, I get I just get a little bit worried because we know what those people actually think. They anyway, that's a rant. That's a rant for a different day. Um, but the fact that Nicki is in Twitter jail, or maybe there's a glitch. It's really just fueling the conspiracy. So before she wasn't talking about agendas, 
now she's like, yo, there's an agenda going on. Can't you see? Like the response, we have to have a measured response. Otherwise, we're, we're making the problem worse. And honestly, the, the crazy response is just uncalled for. I forgot to tell you, the Trinidadian government was mad, honey child. They was mad. The, the health prime minister or whomever, the person in charge of the health, public health, he said, this was a waste of our time and our resources. We could not find any reports of swollen <laughs> testicles. He was mad. He was so mad. So this situation is hilarious. I love the jokes about it, but, um, but the vitriol honestly is making the situation worse and I'm just going to be here sipping tea, honey, about it all. Stay safe until next time. Much love, much luck. Peace out.